I am Gladys Bruce. And when were you born? January 3rd, 1920. I milk one goat. The one goat that I milk is Natasha. Oh, I fell down and and uh, hurt my back. The doctor said I broke a bone in it, so I've been laid up ever since. It's not very painful when I bend over. But when I straighten up and try to walk, it's painful. I get three quarts of milk a day from Natasha. I like the goats with pets. But I've milked ever since I was nine years old. It was cows that I milked when I was nine. I didn't have goats for later years. I used to go to the barn with my father, and he'd let me learn to milk. My mother didn't want me to learn, but Dad and I had a secret, and I learned to milk. <laughs> oh, she said that my hands would be out of shape and all that sort of thing, which it wasn't true. My hands are just as normal now as anybody my age, I think. I grew up in South Wisebro. Oh. <laughs> I really don't know why we're so independent. <laughs> I guess we had to be to thrive because years ago we had to do everything by hand. We had no electricity, nothing like that. We had just horses to do the work. And so we had to be independent to get a living. You know, I know when I was a little girl, we raised most everything we ate because we didn't have money to buy. We had cattle, we had sheep, pigs, and uh, horses. And we all worked. My grand, we lived with my grandmother, and she was a cook, an excellent cook. My mother and father and I worked outside and uh, did a living. I worked with my father in the turnips. We always raised turnips to sell to help pay the taxes. And I used to get down and help him weed the turnips. And then the deer got in them, and so we used to set up nice and, and uh, see if we could get one because the game one told us to kill them off. It just, we used blood meal and everything, and they'd still come in. So, so I, yeah, we used to sell cream down here at the creamery, <coughs> down here in the village. Get up early and milk the cow and take the cream down. If we got there early enough in the morning, we could go down underneath. There was a place where they put the buttermilk, and everybody that wanted it could get it for free. So if we could get there early, we could take our creamery can and fill it up with buttermilk and bring it home and feed the pigs. Hey, wait a minute. Oh, I didn't know he was there. Be good. She's, she's finished her grain. Now after she finishes her grain, she don't want to be milked anymore. There's some milk left, but not too much. Yeah, I don't milk fast enough. That's what she gave. This goes to the rest of the goats, and I take in what I want. <laughs> that little one there is the one that was born premature. Why don't you pick her up, Janet, so she can see you? Well, I'm not going to pick her up much longer. So, that's the one that was born premature. So anyway, that was life on the farm. <laughs> <laughs>